Barcelona boss Ronald Koeman on verge of sack as club aimed to rediscover identity. This summer saw Barcelona lose Lionel Messi because they could not afford to keep him, but it also saw Barcelona keep Ronald Koeman because they could not afford to sack him. Club president Joan Laporta admitted that much at the end of last season when he said that the Dutchman's position in the Camp Nou hot seat was dependent on whether they could find an upgrade. They could not. Coleman had been appointed the previous summer under the previous board and, despite winning the Copa del Rey, the season will be remembered for a meek third-placed finish and Tain Champions League round of 16 exit. Barca lost both league games to Real Madrid, took just one point against Atletico Madrid, then suffered heavy home defeats in the Champions League against both Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain. Every time Coleman's side faced a notable challenge, they failed it. That pattern was repeated last week when Barca were outclassed by Bayern Munich at Camp Nou, where the hosts could not even muster a shot on target. Komen's contract is up at the end of this season, but it feels increasingly likely that Barca will lose patience long before then, and he now faces a run of matches that could signal the end of his tenure. The Blograna have a league trip to Cadiz sandwiched between home games against Granada and Levante respectively, three opponents who are expected to finish in the lower half, yet all of whom beat Barca last season, and any losses in these games could be the final match of Komen's reign. None of these games are a formality. Barca's injury list includes Jordi Alba, Pedri, Ansu Fati, Martin Braithwaite, Ausmain Dembel and Sergio Aguero, with a squad who are yet to adjust to the deadline day exits of Antoine Griezmann, Emerson Royal and Miralem Janik. Komen is running out of players, and he is running out of time. His side are now a strange blend of aging players, budget signings and promising youth players, they are certainly no longer an elite team who are capable of challenging for all honours. The Dutchman said at a press conference this week, when asked about his future, I don't know anything. I only think about the game and the team. The rest is not in my hands. I am calm and confident of winning games. Who will succeed Ronald Koeman in the Camp Nou hot seat? Let us know what you think in the comments below I know that we have to win, it, it is only the results that count. I am not afraid of my future. The club decides on behalf of the president. I do not regret coming. It is a complicated situation for me, the club and the Catalans. We all want what is best for the club. I knew that and wanted to come. But I did not expect this situation, with the economic problems. But I am a fighter and I want to be here, and I want to win. Sacking Komen would cost Barca an estimated pounds 10 million, a fresh and unwelcome financial hit, but one that Laporta's board, whose relationship with the Dutchman is colder than ever, would consider taking. Replacements have already been sounded out including Jordi Cruyff, son of Johan, who rejoined Bark of the summer in the role of a sporting advisor. Cruyff, whose only previous management experience is in Israel and China, is said to have been reluctant to accept the offer, which is the only reason why Komen is still in his post. Yet Komen's days are numbered, and a slip-up at home to Granada on Monday night may spell the end, while a victory would merely bring an inconvenience.